de nuestra patria y no olvidar de dónde venimos ¿no? y llevarla a todos los sitios que lleguemos. Aquellos jóvenes que nacieron aquí, quiero recordarles algo. Yo vine en el 1969. Soy madre de cuatro jóvenes quienes se criaron aquí. Pero déjenme decirles, nunca, nunca, y ellos les pueden decir, las raíces mías no se han olvidado en mi casa, aunque nacieron aquí. Yo les dejo saber a ellos de Puerto Rico constantemente, los llevé hace cinco años a conocer la isla de Puerto Rico, los hago le leer libros. Ellos cantan, escriben poemas acerca de Puerto Rico sin haber nacido en Puerto Rico. Eso es lo que tenemos que recordar, llevar esa cultura de hacia adelante. Me alegro que haya aquí estudiantes, hay maestros y ustedes son el próximo paso a llevar esta cultura hacia adelante. So, gracias del corazón y gracias a todos por estar aquí. Muy buenos días, ¿cómo estamos? Good afternoon, thank you all for being here and in support of this. Sí, ok, me dicen que continúe en español, so voy a seguir en español. Muy buena, pues, quiero dejarles saber que estoy muy orgullosa, primeramente, de darle gracias a Nelson por su liderazgo, el equipo que está detrás de todo esto, organizando que tengamos aquí hoy a Oscar López, pero como una mujer puertorriqueña, orgullosa de nuestra patria, y no olvidar de dónde venimos ¿no? y llevarla a todos los sitios que lleguemos. Aquellos jóvenes que nacieron aquí, quiero recordarles algo. Yo vine en el 1969. Soy madre de cuatro jóvenes quienes se criaron aquí. Pero déjenme decirles, nunca, nunca, y ellos les pueden decir, las raíces mías no se han olvidado en mi casa, aunque nacieron aquí. Yo les dejo saber a ellos de Puerto Rico constantemente, los llevé hace cinco años a conocer la isla de Puerto Rico, los hago le leer libros. Ellos cantan, escriben poemas acerca de Puerto Rico sin haber nacido en Puerto Rico. Eso es lo que tenemos que recordar, llevar esa cultura de hacia adelante. Me alegro que haya aquí estudiantes, hay maestros y ustedes son el próximo paso a llevar esta cultura hacia adelante. So, gracias del corazón y gracias a todos por estar aquí. except for the mayor who's an adopted Boricua. Um, all of your speakers today are Puerto Rican for a reason. We want all of you young people to know that one day you could be a city councilor, you could be a state rep, you could be a state senator, you could be the next mayor of Holyoke, and yes, one day you can be the president of the United States of America. to the stage, and I'm hoping she'll run for president one day, is another really, really awesome individual. She has pushed on the council before I got on, and I'm grateful she's there every day. Please, damas y caballeros, Ward 4 City Councilor Josie Valentin. Buenas tardes, mi gente. ¿Estamos despiertos? Sí. Ok, así me gusta. Eh, bueno, primero que nada, bienvenidos a todos. Me alegra que hayan tomado tiempo de su día para estar aquí, para ser partícipe de este momento histórico en la ciudad de Julio. Ok, para los jóvenes que están aquí, for the young ones that are here, I need you to think about how historic this moment is. Ok, we have a freedom fighter right here in the city of Julio in the name of Oscar López Rivera. servir a la ciudad de Holyoke en, en la capacidad como concejal, como city councilor y también servir a la ciudad de Holyoke en, en, a través de mi rol en Holyoke Community College como consejera académica. So I hope to see all of you at HCC someday. Y en realidad eh, esto ha sido una experiencia extraordinaria poder ver cómo la comunidad eh, le ha abierto los brazos a Don Oscar, como estamos demostrando que Julio, como la ciudad con casi 50% de la población aquí es puertorriqueña, 50%, ¿ok? Nosotros estamos aquí para quedarnos, nosotros no estamos aquí por hoy y no mañana, así que hay que recordar que hay que seguir, 
hay que seguir luchando, hay que seguir peleando y hay que seguir poniendo la frente en alto, porque es la responsabilidad de todos nosotros de poder representar nuestra patria. No importa que nunca hayas podido tener la oportunidad de estar en Puerto Rico, si tu sangre es boricua, eres boricua. ¿Okay? Así que siempre recuerden eso y para mí nuevamente un, un honor eh, recibir a don Oscar aquí. Don Oscar, para los que no sepan, cuando don Oscar salió libre en Puerto Rico, finalizando su, su sentencia, uno de los primeros lugares donde don Oscar pidió ir fue al monumento para las víctimas de Pulse en Orlando. Eso es, una, es un monumento en San Juan, entrando al viejo San Juan, y él pidió ir allí porque él quería ir a dar su respeto y a decir que el trabajo que él hace por la comunidad puertorriqueña incluye a todos en la comunidad, incluyendo a la comunidad LGBT. Así que para mí es muy importante... Gracias. Para mí es muy importante reconocer que don Oscar como la persona que es, como el luchador que es, como los años que, que, que ha dado por la patria, incluyendo obviamente el perder su libertad por 35 años, nunca se ha olvidado de que todos en la comunidad son importantes, incluyendo los que están marginalizados. Así que vamos a darle un gran aplauso a don Oscar y darle las gracias por estar aquí. Gracias. That's amazing. I just want to recognize, though, that this movement, we have the elected officials. This is the official city welcoming. But I would be remiss if I didn't thank the Holyoke Freedom Fighters, those men and women who are on the ground today, who've been on the ground for 20, 30 years, who have been pushing this movement for our community here in Holyoke. Besides Jose Bo, I want to thank Manuel Frau from El Sol Latino. Please give him a round of applause. I want to thank the legend and the spirit of this park, Carlos Vega Park. Please give it up for the spirit of Carlos Vega. I want to thank Maria Salgado Cartagena. I want to thank Betty Medina Lichtenstein. I want to thank Israel Rivera, who all that work in the flex. I want to thank Josh Garcia, I saw him here earlier. I want to thank all of those freedom fighters here locally and those in the school systems who fight every day. And I want everyone to remember that even in your lowest moment, that's what I love about being Puerto Rican, we are all a family. We are all connected. And when I came to Holyoke more than 10 years ago and in this city, I was on the street and had nowhere to go. Holyoke made me the man I am today. So don't ever get discouraged because when I needed the most, you all were there for me, right? And let's talk about the triumph of Holyoke and this next speaker. This young man has shown, just like Josie has shown, just like I continue to show, that this city fights for everyone. And yes, if you're lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered, we stand with you. This man was not only the youngest elected Holyoke mayor in history, one of the youngest in the states. Do you guys love Mayor Alex Morse? Let's welcome Mayor Alex B. Morse. Thank you, Nelson, and buenas tardes todos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos a Oscar López, es un honor uh, tener Oscar en la ciudad de Holyoke. Si sí, yo hablo español, yo veo la cara de, de los niños aquí. Uh, pero yo no voy a hablar en español completamente. Uh, so welcome all of you to the city of Holyoke. It's so great to see so many young people. I want to start off by thanking Nelson Roman for his uh, leadership on making this happen in the city of Holyoke, which started off as an idea and a vision and become reality, really in a short amount of time. It was just last year that we gathered together with Oscar's brother uh, around Holyoke, came up to the office, and Nelson and the group was so committed. Uh, we're going to make sure that Oscar is free, and when he is, he's going to come to Holyoke, and look what happened uh, today. There are, I know there's been so many thank yous already, and I, I want to thank, uh, as I said, Nelson, but the entire committee that met many times over the last several weeks and months to put this uh, event together. We have an exciting day planned. Uh, but as mayor, I couldn't be more proud of the people here in the city. And I've always said that our best asset isn't our built, our buildings or our uh, houses. It's the people who live here in the city of Holyoke. And as Josie said, our people here are nearly 50% Latino, mostly Puerto Rican. And how proud can we be to be such a diverse, accepting, and inclusionary city, yet we have to also acknowledge the work we still have to do. When I think about Oscar Lopez and his life and the issues he's dedicated himself to, 
particularly the issues he's going to continue dedicating his work to, be it criminal justice reform, education, making sure all people have access uh, to good education in their public schools, safe neighborhoods, good parks, good paying jobs. Here in Holyoke today, some people like to think that all of us have the same amount of privilege and access to opportunity. But one of the reasons I ran and, and other counselors here today ran for office and all of you being involved in the community is because we still have a lot more work to do to ensure equality for all people. And that particularly means for the Puerto Rican community to make sure you have access to the same access that everyone else has. Are, are we done yet? And I think we have to learn from the traditions and legacy of Oscar Lopez. We need to continue fighting for safe neighborhoods, for good paying jobs, for good public schools, making sure that we work for criminal justice reform, that we don't have young people and nonviolent drug offenders in jail their entire life, that they can come out and be a part of our community. Those are the issues we're fighting for in the city of Holyoke. And mayors and counselors and local leaders need the help of all of you to realize uh, that vision. So on behalf of all of us in Holyoke, thank you for your work. It's an honor to be your mayor, to be your partner in improving uh, our city. Uh, and before I depart, I do have a, an official uh, proclamation and declaration uh, for Oscar Lopez. And so, whereas since being released last month after serving 36 years in prison, 12 of which were in isolation, Lopez Rivera continues to raise awareness about the fiscal, health care, and human rights crisis that affects the lives of the Puerto Rican people both in the United States and on the island, and he has advanced a message of unity and civility. And whereas Oscar Lopez has decided to visit the city of Holyoke in a show of gratitude and companionship and to better know the Holyoke community and its people. Therefore, be it resolved that I, Alex B. Morris, Mayor, do hereby declare June 22nd, 2017 as Oscar Lopez Rivera Day. Give it up one more time for the mayor. So before we go, uh, I just want to also thank everyone, like Alex said, on the Oscar Lopez Rivera Planning Committee. So if all the committee members can please raise their hands up really high for me, please. Please, all committee members, I want to thank these 20 plus individuals who, like the mayor said, has been meeting and planning and doing this whole visit. And I also want to thank the amazing Vanguard members. Please give them a round of applause. I want to say this. We have established the Puerto Rican Cultural District Council, and Alex has declared this day Oscar Lopez Rivera Day. But on behalf of the committee members, we'd like to call upon to these seats Oscar Lopez Rivera, Manuel Frau Ramos, and Jose Bo, please. Yes. Woo, woo. Please have a seat. Have a seat. Somebody else take the picture. And can I please have Maria? Where's Maria Salgado? Come up, you're gonna help me with this, and if I got my mother-in-law, or can I have um Carmen, come here. So you guys are gonna help me. So I just wanna share with you guys something. Today. We're going to start a new tradition here in South Holyoke. Um, we are forming the Puerto Rican Cultural District Com Council, and it'll comprise of stakeholders, community members, and people. But we want to recognize these three men's legacies. Oscar for being the spirit and the fire in the Phoenix from which we look to. Manuel Frau Ramos for running the independent, solely Puerto Rican Latino-owned news source in Western Mass. It's not that there's other non-Latino sources, but still, the independent-owned one. And Jose Bo, these three men are our freedom fighters. So today, we're going to establish... I want you guys, you're going to put that on Manuel and Jose in a minute. We're going to establish the Oscar Lopez Rivera Jave de la diáspora boricana de la Estados Unidos. Holyoke is the number one city in the U.S. per capita of Puerto Ricans. We in this city have the right to say that we are one of the homelands of our diaspora. So today we form the Oscar Lopez Rivera key to the Puerto Rican Cultural District of Holyoke and of the United States. And the first honoree will be Oscar Lopez Rivera. Who are you? I'm Jack. Glad you're here. Second one. And you? Cesar Torres. And you? Cariel Sanchez. And you? Tony Rivera. And you? And you? Who are you? 
Garcia. That's the Garcia. And we're all Puerto Ricans, probably. We're, we're all Puerto Ricans. Yeah. Say it again. We're all Puerto Ricans. Oh. And without further ado, before we raise the flag to speak, I would like to welcome to the podium the man that you've all been waiting for. We give a round of applause to our three key holders to the Puerto Rican Cultural District. And now welcome to the podium, Don Oscar Lopez Rivera. With a heart full, with a heart full of gratitude, and also full of humbleness, I thank, I thank every single one of you. I want, I want you to know that this city brought one day a tremendous amount of joy a tremendous amount of hope and a tremendous amount of strength. My brother, my brother had talked to, talked to me about Nelson <laughs> and about the city of Holyoke. And one day, one day I received a copy of the resolution that the city council had passed. And when a person is when a person is in prison, it is very difficult to know, very difficult to know when it is that his day will come to come home. And on the on the 17th of May, President Barack, in, I'm sorry, on the 17th of January, President Barack Obama commuted my sentence, and on the 17th of May. I was finally, finally allowed to walk the streets of Puerto Rico with, with my head high, with my dignity and my honor as strong as it was when I entered prison. The 35 years and months that I spent in prison, I got letters, letters from a lot of young people, Gir girls and boys that were five, six, seven years old. And I maintain communication. I maintain communication with them from the very beginning. And today, some of those young people who wrote to me are teachers. There's one that is a doctor. There's some that have very, very, very much to do with the artistic world, making contribution to this, to this society, and to a world that will be better and more just if we fight for it. As I look, as I look at this, all these beautiful young faces today, I want you to know that you represent, you represent the future, not only, not only of Holyoke, not only of Massachusetts, not only of the United States, but you also represent the future of the world. You can do, you can do great things, great things for yourself, for your community, for your city, for the United States, and for the whole world. Never, we must never look at ourselves just as individuals. We must look at ourselves as part of the other. And if you, if you every day, every day, fill your hearts with love and compassion, you will never allow, you will never allow your hearts to be poisoned by hatred and fear. Do not allow yourself to, for your hearts to be poisoned by hatred and fear.
since, since my arrival in Puerto Rico, one of, one of the key words that I've used is love. We must, we must always, always love whatever it is that we want to do. We must love education. We must love, must, must love our family. We must love our communities. We must love everything, everything that makes life, everything that makes life possible, including the whole environment. We must look at ourselves. We must look at ourselves as as universal citizens because everything that we do here in this city can affect the rest of the world. Among the things that I would like to see eradicated in this world is racism. I, I, have, I, have, an art, I have an art exhibition in the city of San Juan, in the mayoral office in San Juan. And one of the one of one of the paintings has four four little panels. One panel, one panel is white, the other panel is yellow, the other panel is red, the other panel is black. Because there is no such thing no such thing as a red human being. There is no such thing as a yellow human being. There is no such thing as a white human being. And there is no such thing as a black human being. We are all, we are all, we are all part of one single race. And that's the human race. See it, we can see it from different perspectives. We can see it as Christians. We can see it as any other religion in the world. We can see that we are we are only one one race. So we can we can we can extricate hatred from our heart by transcending transcending racism. Just by doing that, we can do it. Dr. Ramon Everterio Betances was the father, we call him the father of Puerto Rico. And one of the one of the biggest one of the biggest contributions that he made was to wage to wage the fight against slavery in Puerto Rico. He he was he was exiled never, never allowed to come back to Puerto Rico after 1968, 1868. But he never stopped, never stopped fighting for the independence of Puerto Rico, fighting for what was just, what was noble, what was right. He, he was one of the first Puerto Ricans to point out that we, we should be proud of who we are. Independent, independent, independent of the pigmentation that we had. And, and he emphasized because he was part Dominican, part Puerto Rican. He emphasized the whole thing of being proud, proud of our dark skin. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how light, how dark it is. Let's be proud of our own, of our own selves. Be proud of our origins. Be proud, be proud of whatever, whatever we have as goals in our lives and what we are in this world. Let's make contribution to this world. Let's make it from now, it doesn't matter how old we are. If we see, if we see something that is damaging to the environment, probably a can, we can lift it up and throw it away, recycle it. Yeah. But we can do it, it doesn't matter what age we are. We have to do those things. We have to do those things. Because today in Puerto Rico, one of our biggest problems, one of our biggest problems is the junk, the junk that, that, that businesses like Walmart bring into Puerto Rico. Tons, tons of plastic are brought to Puerto Rico every year by Walgreens, by Walmart, by uh, uh, 
Costco, by all these different companies, tons, tons of, tons of plastic. And plastic, plastic is one of the most dangerous things in the environment, to the environment. And the biggest, probably one of the biggest pollutants in Puerto Rico. And we don't have, we don't have the space to deal with the plastic. So, I, I, I'm, I'm pointing this out because it is important for us to think of the whole, the whole environment. Not only us, but also what surrounds us. So, I'm asking, I'm asking everyone, young and old, and I see all these beautiful young faces. I'm asking, I'm asking for you to be conscious, very, very conscious, committed to make this, this, a better community, a very beautiful community, because you embellish it just with your presence to make it a great community. And with that in mind, I say, hey, go forward, go forward. There's to struggle, there to win. Chief of the City of Holyoke. I want to thank Chief Pond, who's here from the Fire Department. Chief, I see you back there. I want to thank the Holyoke Police Department for being here today. Thank you so much. Um, Dr. Shrike from the School Department, thank you. And we have to give a big round of applause to both Luis Soria and my partner Manny, who was allowed to teach the Morgan students with, with all the other teachers. But I want to thank Luis Soria and Dr. Shrike, all of the students in Holyoke got to learn about Oscar this week. The high schoolers got to write a, a writing essay competition and some of those schools, uh, high school students are gonna go to a VIP lunch with Oscar after this today. And we would be remiss if I didn't recognize the Paul Ferrer Social Justice Charter School kids and everyone who's here today to experience this. We have two more special gifts. One of them is the Wisteria Hearst Museum. It's a museum that has welcomed the Puerto Rican community in. <laughs> Penny Martirol, and I saw Kate, where'd she go? Yeah. Kate Presto, she's over there. And Maria want to present Oscar with a, with a gift, a token of their appreciation. And Jose Bo as well are gonna give something quick, and we're gonna have the Vanguard guys move the podium, okay? Yeah. give Oscar Lopez a tour of Holyoke today, but particularly emphasize the Puerto Rican history, because for you young folks, we have history in Holyoke, okay? We have contributed positively to this community, right? So when people tell you don't speak Spanish, guess what, that's an asset. Our mayor speaks Spanish, so if he can speak Spanish, you can speak Spanish, okay? and Wisteria Hearst has really been determined to incorporate Puerto Rican history into the museum. Um, but this picture particularly, I want to point something out. This was right the weekend after a mother and her three children died in a fire here on East Street, on that corner right there, right across from Morgan. And the community came together, marched to City Hall, and demanded fair, affordable housing in the city of Holyoke. And right here, that's my legacy. That's my mother. We can't erase our Puerto Rican history in the city because we have contributed a lot. So it's my honor to present you this. And now we know him as Comandante, I mean, the chef du jour. <laughs> Give it up if you've ever been to, who's been to Salsa on High Street? <laughs> we don't have a traditional Puerto Rican cultural center, but that is the People's Puerto Rican Cultural Center. He's gonna present Oscar with a gift. Okay, um, should I say it in Spanish? English? Yeah. 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 I'm going to speak English. Number one, I would like to ask these four young men here from the Vanguard, please come over, because you guys, you guys make me proud. You are the future. You are the future of this nation. Thank you for participating. That's one thing. The other thing is that when I look around and when people talk about Don Oscar Lopez Rivera, we forget 
we forget about him because he defended this nation in Vietnam. Yeah. And he's got the bronze medal in Vietnam. How about that? He defended your that? freedom and my freedom. And I got orders to go to Vietnam, but I never did. But I'm so proud of him. And thank you guys. So, number one, I want to say, this is not mine. He painted it. Gacho is the artist. And we want to give it to the Lord God. It's a little heavy. We could, we could take it back to the restaurant, but this is for you. Orgullo Nacional. like a TV show. Look. <laughs> so, we're going to raise the Puerto Rican flag for the first time in the Puerto Rican Cultural District. But we would be remiss if we didn't welcome Sela Maldonado, Jose's wife, who's going to sing the revolutionary Puerto Rican national anthem. Sela Maldonado! Despierta Boriqueño que han dado la señal. Despierta de ese sueño que es hora de luchar. A este llamar patriótico arde tu corazón. Ver no será simpático. Nosotros queremos la libertad, nuestro machete no las dará. 